program will begin shortly. In the meantime, please allow me to share some advice that my 10-year-old son helped research and find for me. Come on, everybody, hurry up. We're about to get started. Buenas tardes y bienvenidos. Good evening and welcome everyone to the Anza College's 53rd Annual Commencement Ceremony and to our first ever virtual graduation. We would have loved to have been together with all of you in person for this event, of course, but we are as excited about this year's graduation as any other and we are so proud of each and every one of you. Graduates and familia, sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Hello, 2020 De Anza grads. I am so proud of you. This year has been immensely rough. We have withstood a pandemic, have fought for equality, and through it all maintained academic performance so that we could pursue our education. As your DSB Senate president this year, I've had the privilege of working with an array of wonderful individuals who are so passionate about supporting their communities. I have seen students advocate for their peers, stand up to injustice, and grow their capacities as leaders and learners. I am saddened I cannot commend you in person, but I am delighted to have been able to attend school with you all and learn from you. Coming to De Anza from high school, I was lost. 
I had no understanding of my own capacity. It was through the support of my on-campus community, tremendous professors and mentors, my fellow DASB senators and classmates, that I grew into the individual that I am today. Whether you're transferring to a four-year university or have gone your associate's degree or certification, you are an invaluable part of what makes De Anza the institution that it is. Your unique path to higher education is telling of your incredible perseverance, drive, and passion. And if you are the first person in your family to attend college, I would like to give you a special shout out. It is so hard for us to navigate higher education, and we did it. And to all of my 2020 grads, I want to wish you luck on anything that you pursue. Thank you for allowing me to represent you. It has been truly an unforgettable experience. Congratulations to the De Anza College Class of 2020 graduates. As the De Anza Academic Senate and as an instructor in English, Women's Studies, and Asian American Studies, it is my pleasure to convey a message from the De Anza Academic Senate which is comprised of all the faculty of De Anza. We faculty heartily congratulate the 2020 De Anza College graduates. Woo we join your loved ones in being very proud of you and your accomplishments, and we look forward to seeing you grow and succeed. Please keep in touch as we love to hear from you, our past students, and never forget that you will always find light inside a book. Hi, De Anza graduates. It's me, Victoria, from the SSC. You know, the Writing and Reading Center. Maybe some of you know it as the WRC. Or maybe you know me from CSA or CAS or LSC. We sure do have a lot of acronyms at De Anza. Sorry about that. But maybe some of you don't know me from any of those programs and you're seeing me for the first time. But just know I see you. Whether I've met you or not, I feel honored to work as a classified staff member in the tutoring center where I've seen so many students hard at work. I've seen you collaborating on group presentations with your classmates. I've seen you giving your child a snack while at the same time wrestling with the writing process for your English assignment. I've seen you explaining to a tutor what you're trying to express in your essay. You've managed academics and family and work to balance a really hectic schedule. This quarter on Zoom, I've seen you in workshops and classes, raising your hand, asking questions when you want to know more, and sometimes offering your classmates the insight that you have from your experience, helping your friends when they have questions, and really teaching me and your instructors because you can explain things as only you can. I and all the staff feel so privileged to have seen this and so much more and the hard work that goes into graduating from De Anza College. And I just wanna say we see the promise of the future in all of you. I know it's hard to see now, but I believe we're at the beginning of something great because I see the great things you've done and are capable of. Congratulations, class of 2020. I'd like to share with you a poem about Eric Garner, who unfortunately is now most known as a man who suffocated to death at the hands of police who detained him for a minor nonviolent offense. Eric Garner has become one of the many individuals for whom the Black Lives Matter movement is seeking justice. However, Eric Garner also lived a life of other accomplishments and meaning to many other people. Let this poem, titled A Small Needful Fact by Ross Gay, be a reminder that we are always more than just a list of accomplishments or one singular moment in our lives. A small needful fact is that Eric Garner worked for some time for the Parks and Rec Horticultural Department, which means, perhaps, that with his very large hands, perhaps, in all likelihood, he put gently into the earth some plants which, most likely, some of them, in all likelihood, continue to grow, continue to do what such plants do, like house and feed small and necessary creatures, like being pleasant to touch and smell, like converting sunlight into food, like making it easier for us to breathe.
Greetings, the Anza College Class of 2020. My name is Dr. Melinda Hughes, and I am the president of the Black Faculty, Staff, and Administrators Network. And I would like to say to you and your loved ones, congratulations on a job well done. All of you, the Class of 2020, are destined to do great things in this world. You are the students of the pandemic, and you are sitting on the precipice of change. The world needs you more than ever. The world needs your strength, it needs your passion, it needs your courage, it needs your voice, but most of all, it needs you. As you navigate the nuances of your journey, I want you to think about this quote from Dr. Janetta B. Cole, former president of Spelman College. She says, an education that teaches you to understand something about the world has done only half the assignment. The other half is to teach you to do something about making the world a better place. Class of 2020, as you leave De Anza College, I encourage you to continue to use your influence to make the world a better place. God bless and congratulations. Now, I'd like to introduce you to our student commencement speaker, Tamara Williams. Like so many of our students, Tamara has juggled many demands on her path to earning two degrees one in early childhood education, and one in liberal arts. She has been working as a full-time preschool teacher while attending De Anza College. So on some days, she would go to work in the morning as a teacher in a classroom, and then find herself in a different classroom as a student in the evenings. Tamara plans to continue her studies at California Baptist University, where she will major in child psychology and African American studies. She wants to continue teaching and eventually work as an educational administrator so that she can be a role model as a black woman in leadership for future students of color. I know she has an important message to share with all of us. Thank you, Tamara, for being a part of this celebration. Good evening, Deanza class of 2020. My name is Tamara Joyce Williams, and I am so honored to be chosen as this year's student commencement speaker. I want to first take the time out to give thanks to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, my family and my boyfriend, and everyone else who guided me through this journey. This year has especially been a hard for all of us. From shelter in place, to not being able to spend time with our loved ones, to racial tension on the rise causing all communities to protest an unjust system. COVID may have stopped us from walking the stage, but it did not stop us from getting our degrees. COVID prevented many families from seeing one another, and to add to the heartache, many families couldn't wish their loved ones goodbye. Meanwhile, many of our Latinx communities are being torn away from their families. Within the same institution, we're continuing to see LGBTQ and the Black community experience discrimination across the board. This same kind of discrimination that spills over to the API community. This time of grieving and mourning has brought us all together, causing our generation to be the catalyst for change. But before we could become leaders of our generation, it had to begin in the classroom. It had to begin right here at De Anza College, where we showed people that we could excel in our studies without being in the presence of an instructor. We demonstrated perseverance despite having limited resources. Many of our students weren't able to afford the materials needed to be successful in their academics, but they did it. Many of our students had to take public transportation day in and day out, but they did it. Many of our students didn't have a place to call home, but they did it, causing all of our students to advocate for the right to housing on campus. Many students that already had the privilege of shelter advocating for their peers. We proved to the world that we could protest and fight for what is right and love one another, no matter what color you are or who you identify with. As students, we stood in solidarity. As a nation, we witnessed the global outcries for equality. Morally, that was our job to do, and that's what defines our generation. This year has been a difficult one, and we aren't even halfway through. So take this time for yourself to just breathe. Here, it is a safe place for you to express your joy and your achievements. Breathe freely in this space, because there are places outside of here where some of us don't have that opportunity, because some of us can't breathe. Some of us have our hands up in the air, where we are dehumanized and ridiculed for telling it how it is. But today, we freely raise our hands to rejoice. Congratulate yourself 
take the time to give yourself props for all that you have accomplished. Today is our day, and on this day in 2020, know that we faced everything head on, stood up for what we believed in, fought for what we knew what was right, and again, it didn't stop us for getting our degree. Always keep in mind that your opinion matters, your education matters, your mental health matters, and if anyone didn't tell you, your life matters. Hello again. I want to thank all of the speakers in our 2020 graduation celebration. And I also want to share a few more thoughts with you, the class of 2020, and with your families and friends. You are here because you chose and remained on a path that required hard work, persistence, confidence, and focus. You overcame a variety of obstacles and challenges, including a global pandemic with health officials ordering all of us to stay at home, which required you to take all of your spring quarter classes online. This was in addition to some truly horrifying events in our country, making clear the anti-racism work that we all have to do. Black Lives Matter. Yet, despite all of these challenges, Almost 1,500 students will graduate from De Anza College this year, some with more than one degree. For 2020, we are awarding 1,850 degrees and 550 certificates. Graduates, we are proud of you. We are honored that you have chosen De Anza College and that you have brought your experience, wisdom, insight, and many other contributions. Today is the culmination of all your work and sacrifice, along with the work and sacrifice by your families in support of you achieving your goals. Today is the reward for countless hours of homework, reading, research, sandwiched in and among countless hours of employment, raising families, juggling extended family and rent payments, and hopefully, maybe even a social life. Believe me, I know. I am a very proud first-generation De Anza College transfer student myself, and I am forever proud to say that my two children both attended and graduated from De Anza College. My daughter transferred to the University of Southern California and my son to the University of California, Berkeley. And because I have had the pleasure of getting to know so many students over the years, I can tell you this. You are the ones who will lead the community and our country with vision and with passion and with compassion for one another. Look at all of the recent protests and actions organized and attended by young people I am optimistic because of you for the future. We at De Anza College will always remember you and your many contributions. I ask that you continue to take responsibility for being active members of your own communities. I would also like to add a special note of gratitude to your families, the mothers and fathers, the guardians, the husbands, wives, partners, cousins, brothers, sisters, grandparents, godparents, aunts, uncles, and of course, your children, whose deep commitment and support made all the difference. To the familias, I know that many of you made great sacrifices so that members of your families could graduate. So familia, we honor you too. Along with our graduates, Congratulations to each and every one of you. And now, before we get to the main event video, and you have a chance to see the names of all the graduates, and later on, all of the submissions we received from you, this is what you have been working toward. If you ordered a graduation mortar board, get it ready. By the authority vested in me by the California Community College Board of Governors, and the Board of Trustees of the Foothill De Anza Community College District, 
I now confer the degree of Associate of Arts or Associate of Science to the class of 2020. You have now achieved a major milestone in your lives, and you have the privilege of turning your tassel from the right to the left side of your mortarboard. Congratulations, class of 2020. Now, once again, please keep watching for the main event, the graduation celebration video, in which you will see all of your names. After that, you can watch our special video graduation slideshow, which will include all submissions from our graduates. Search for your name on the website and check out the many online congratulation cards. Thank you again. Go Mountain Lions and congratulations class of 2020.
me be the very first to welcome you to one of the strongest alumni connections in Silicon Valley. We are over 1 million strong, spanning over the last 60 years. Graduating from De Anza College is one of the keys to unlocking our fullest potential. I had the privilege of working at De Anza for 19 years, so I know that you have had the support of some of the best faculty, staff, and administrators in the country. I can make such a bold statement because I've served on boards representing colleges and universities throughout the nation, and we do compare notes with each other. I'm not a fortune teller, but I predict that in the future you will look back on this time many years from now and you'll appreciate the fact that you graduated from one of the top community colleges in California, located in the heart of Silicon Valley, hosting the most innovative and vibrant economy in the world. Don't let anyone define you by how you look or tell you what you can or cannot do. Define yourself by your work and your accomplishments. Even though the world is a bit broken right now, you give us hope. We're confident you will do well in the future and we're optimistic you will use the knowledge and skill you acquired at the ANZA to do the right thing. proud graduates of De Anza, a campus that has a history of community and civic engagement, it is up to your generation to shape a more just future.
out and make your mark in this world. This is a world that needs you to help keep it strong, respectful, and just. We know that the old ways of doing things are crumbling, and we will need you to keep up your advocacy for our community as we push for a more equitable and just society. Pave your own path, create, innovate, and thrive. Break that mold, shape your destiny, and build a better planet for all of us. You're gonna be needing to take the reins from all of us. You are the present, not the future, you are the present. So many things going on in the world, and we will require your active citizenry. That you'll build a good life for your family and yourself, and a better world for all of us. You can do it. We know that you are part of a generation that will leave society a better place than you found it. And for that, we thank you and we support you. Thank you for choosing De Anza College for your education journey. You're De Anza grads now. Congratulations. Congratulations, graduates. We are so proud of you. Congratulations to the class of 2020 at De Anza College. On to bigger and better things. Go De Anza. Congratulations again on your achievement. You earned it. So again, congratulations as a fellow proud graduate also of De Anza. I am so proud of you. Go get them. Congratulations, De Anza graduate.